Good morning friends. So, my hair is not brushed and I've quite literally just rolled out of bed. It is 8am. I got up at 7.30am this morning, which is absolutely unheard of. Like, I always get up at 5.20am, but I just felt like I needed to catch up on some sleep. I don't know about you guys, but December is always my most sleep deprived month because of all the social occasions, the Christmas parties, the Christmas dinners, Christmas brunches, Christmas running tours. I did a Christmas running tour last night. So there's just so much going on this month and I feel like I haven't had enough sleep. And this morning when my 5.20 alarm went off, I just went, no, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> and I had two more hours and I'm trying to celebrate to myself psychologically that I did that because often that would make me feel guilty because I didn't work this morning for two hours but I actually think it's much more valuable for me this morning to have got that sleep and I think my body and my mind needed that more than it needed to get up and do work at 5am you know. Anyway today's video is going to be a classic what I eat in a day. I'm going to try and focus mostly on the food because today the work that I'm doing at home is stuff which really needs like deep focus and I feel like trying to film while I'm doing that will distract me so I'm going to focus on filming what I eat in a day and then I'm going to work in between my meals on my laptop. I'm doing all of my goal setting for 2020 so anyway so let's start with the first thing that passes my lips in the morning and that is my probiotics. So, so this is the probiotic I take, Simprove. This is not sponsored but yeah. I just have a shot glass when I wake up. It tastes absolutely appalling. Um, but I've been to their HQ and I see how they make it and I truly believe in the effects of it. So it's worth it for the taste, you know? I can just deal with it. Just hold your nose and it makes everything better. And now that's done, I'm gonna walk to my local coffee shop, get a coffee, settle in, crack on, get some work done, yes! Time to have a productive Monday. <laughs> coffee success, I got an oat milk flat white in my keep cup, and I'm gonna put in my My Protein vanilla flavour drops, which I always put in. You guys know that I love adding a little bit of sweetness to my coffee. In terms of why I drink coffee, it's purely for pleasure. I actually don't seem to get too much of a buzz or a rush or an energy hit from drinking coffee, but I just really enjoy the process of having a coffee in the morning, going to my shop just down the road and like, I don't know, talking to the barista every morning. It's just a really nice process. That's why I like to have my coffee. Also, oat milk has just changed the game and oat milk flat whites are the actual best coffee in the world. Fight me on it. So, <laughs> so yeah, I just love having one of those in the morning and I just really enjoy coffee, guys. <sighs> Happiness in a keep cup. Hello, so it is about quarter to 11 and I'm having my first meal of the day. It's more like a snack. I'm not super hungry, but I feel like my brain is starting to get a little bit frazzled by all of the deep focus that I've been using. So I'm gonna get a little bit of an energy hit with this bowl. Let me show you it up close. I have an apple, a nice pink lady apple, sprinkled with some cinnamon, topped with some nut butter. This is the nut butter that I used, Pippa Nut Pumpkin Spice Almond Butter. And also a few squares of dark chocolate. It is this vegan brand, Kennard's Artisan Chocolates, dark chocolate, peanut and sea salt. So yeah, that's what I've got as my first meal forward slash snack of the day. Hello again, it is now five past one. Are we sure it's five past one? Yeah, it's five past one. It's five past one. <laughs> And I am making myself some lunch. Guys, I had every intention of going for a run or training or doing something today, but my to-do list is relentless and things are taking longer than I thought. And me not getting up early has sacrificed two hours of my day. If I had got up early, I probably could have trained today, but I'm just accepting it, embracing the fact that today will be an unplanned rest day. And yeah, I'm gonna have myself a lunch. It's a pretty light lunch because I'm going out for dinner tonight, but I'm using this tofu, this is not sponsored again. This is actually tempeh. And per whole box, I'm gonna use the whole thing, it is about 450 calories and 45 grams of protein. So really nice high protein thing to add into my meals. 
I'm gonna have this with a bunch of different veggies and some sort of like Asian flavors, soy, teriyaki vibes. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna have and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, here is my finished lunch. I have the whole block of tempeh with some peppers, some mushrooms and some tomatoes. And I cooked it all in like a coconut amino thing. Let me show you. I cooked them in this organic coconut aminos teriyaki sauce. I've had my lunch. I'm back with my laptop. I'm working and I have myself a cup of tea. A cup of tea, as I was saying. This is in my usual Harry Potter mug. It is a pucker three chamomile tea. So I'm gonna sip this while I keep on working. So our evening plans have just been canceled. It is 5.30 PM and right about now, I was supposed to be ice skating at the Natural History Museum, having a double date with some friends of ours, but they canceled about an hour, an hour and a half ago, saying that they just couldn't make it, which is completely understandable. So Ant and I now have a free evening, an unexpectedly free evening, which we're both a little bit excited about because we haven't cooked a home cooked meal in ages. We haven't had some quality one on one time in ages. So we're going to see the positives in the situation. Of course, we would have loved to have spent time with our friends, but finding the positives, we get to have some lovely quality time together. So Ant's going to be back home in about 20 minutes and I'm going to cook us up a delicious dinner. I'm actually going to make a recipe from my plant based ebook called Eat More Plants. I'm going to make the herby mushroom pasta because I haven't really had many carbohydrates today and I just feel like I need some good carbs in my life tonight. So that's what I'm gonna go for. <laughs> Plus, even though it's a pasta recipe, it actually packs in four of your five a day. And I'm gonna add in some extra veggies to make it five of our five a day. So it's gonna be a super nutrient dense, delicious dinner. And I'm just really excited to have an evening in with Ant. And um, I still haven't trained today. I'm just gonna maybe, while I wait for Ant to get home, do some stretching because my body's really tight. She did a 10K run yesterday, like a Christmas running tour. So I'm gonna stretch my body out, tidy up my office because over here it is a hot mess. And wait for him to get home. And then we're gonna have a nice cozy evening and eat some pasta and I'm just, yeah. I'm really excited to have some quality time with him. Yay. Just a heads up that I'm snacking on this. This is a naked bar and Christmas pudding. I got given this last night on our running tour and it's so good. I don't know what this flavor is. What is the flavor? It's like cinnamon, nutmeg, deliciousness. Mm. Anthony Mall is home and what are we having? Pizza bread and hummus. <laughs> So we always have, you guys know this by now, whenever Ant comes home, we have pita bread and hummus. It's just like an everyday staple in our life, isn't it? It's a ritual more than anything. It is actually a ritual. Like, if he doesn't have hummus, you get so pissed. You get really annoyed, don't you, babe? I do. You I do. get hangry. <laughs> it's real hangry. He has to have his hummus. Let's have some hummus. I'm having half a pitta. Um, so I'm having this much pitta. Ant's having a whole pitta. And we're going to dip in our hummus. Do you know that hummus and whole grain pitta is a complete protein? It's also a, a complete carb as well, isn't it? Mmm. What's a complete carb? It's a carb fest. And we're going to take this opportunity to announce something very exciting. I wonder what it is, Anthony Moore. What is it? Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. We are going to go house hunting next year. We are going to be on the hunt for a house. A house. That's the announcement. We're moving, hopefully, next year. Yeah? We're going to try and find a house next year to live in. Bigger than this place. A bit, because currently we live in a bit of a box, so I'm quite excited. I'm quite excited. It's a nice box. It's I like living in babe, this babe, it's a very nice box. But I'd like to move to a bigger box. Okay. If all possible. Okay. <laughs> so I'm really excited about it. I'm excited! Are you excited? Oh, yeah. yeah? 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 <laughs> so that's our big news! Yay! Yay! So I have my herbed mushroom pasta recipe from my ebook up on my laptop. I've got my pasta simmering away, my pine nuts toasted, and these are all of my lovely veggies, my delicious sauce that my pasta's gonna get mixed through. It looks so freaking good. All right, here are our finished balls of deliciousness. I think that's a pretty good representation of what is in my ebook. So 
We have some lentil pasta, which is with sun-dried tomatoes, mushrooms, fresh tomatoes, spinach, peas, pine nuts, herbs, onions, garlic. So much flavor in these bowls and so much goodness as well. So we're gonna tuck into this now. Mm. Is it good? Yummy. Really? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Yay. Silent night. Holy night. So that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what I ate today. Seeing a little cameo from the man himself. Mwah. If you did like this video, what do you need to do? If they like the video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel below. And? And leave a comment. And turn me around. <laughs> Oi! Come and say goodbye with me. Help. Okay, so... Have a good Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. There's probably... I don't know. If, when's this going to go up? Might, sometime, um, sometime before Christmas. Yeah, we might see you again before Christmas. We might not. But okay. if we don't, have a very Merry Christmas. Yeah. And a Happy New Year.